an upgrade to an enhanced risk here per the SPC for portions of southern Michigan. Let's go ahead and dive into today's forecast. I'm Ryan, and this is Michigan Storm Chasers. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. As I mentioned, the SPC latest update here. Level three out of five now, orange area across south central Michigan there from Lansing to Ann Arbor, Adrian, Coldwater, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Jackson, all centered within that level three enhanced risk. Further north, we have a slight risk up here toward Grand Rapids, the Tri-Cities, Flint, and Mount Pleasant areas, as well as Detroit. That's going to be your yellow area. And then further north up in the dark green zone is your marginal risk. That's level one, so low end risk. Extends pretty much up to Mackinac, Gaylord, Alpena, Manistee, Traverse City, and Roscommon areas. Let's go ahead and talk about hazards here. Damaging winds, primary risk here. 30 to 44% chance of a damaging wind gust within a 25 mile point, anywhere within that red zone. In the yellow zone, a 15 to 29% chance of a severe wind gust, anywhere within 25 miles of a certain point. And then in the darkish brown red color further north, a 5 to 14% chance of a severe wind gust within a 25 mile point of you. Currently, there is no hatched area for wind gusts over 75 miles per hour. That may change though. Secondary threat, large hail. And again, 15 to 29% chance across that yellow risk area. Further north in the dark brown red color there, 5 to 14% chance. Again, that's a severe hailstone within 25 miles anywhere within that red brown zone or the yellow zone there. Just a bit higher probabilities in the in yellow. And last but not least, there is a tornado threat with this system. It's a 2%, 2 to 4%, sorry, 2 to 4% chance by Gaylord, Traverse City, Ross Common, and Alpena areas. Over toward the thumb area as well, Port Austin, Port Huron areas. 2 to 4% chance in the green colors. Down in the reddish brown color, it's a 5 to 9% chance of a tornado happening within a 25 mile point of view. So what that means basically is if you live in Grand Rapids or in Lansing or in Ann Arbor, anywhere within the red zone, within 25 miles of you, there is a 5 to a 9% chance of a tornado happening within that vicinity of you. So putting it all together here, the enhanced risk is new. The slight risk was expanded. Let's talk about what to expect here via the models. Latest forecast guidance suggests that Tuesday, today, we can't forget today either. We're going to talk about that in just in a minute here. But focusing in on the Wednesday time frame, we're going to start the morning off here at 8 a.m. Wednesday morning on your screen currently. Again, 8 a.m. in the morning Wednesday. Pop-up showers there across portions of the state. Those may contain hail. They shouldn't contain wind or anything tornadic at all, but they may contain hail as well as a lot of good lightning and thunder and heavy rain. I would not be shocked if one of these storms is strong, perhaps severe, but overall chances for that increase much later in the day, closer to the dinner time frame. Let's go ahead and go hour by hour here. It's 8 a.m. Here's 9 a.m., 10, 11, and here is noon. Here's 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and by about 3 p.m. or so, this area right here on the warm front, as well as back here across Indiana, back in through Illinois, that is your main concern for severe weather, especially with this line right there. That's going to be the main line, so to speak, that's going to push up into the state, moving east-northeast at around 32, or I'm actually going to say about 40 to 50 miles per hour here, hour by hour. Here's 3 p.m., 4 p.m., here's 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., and by about that 8 p.m., 9 p.m. time frame, that main line is pushed out of the state with lingering rain showers across much of the state. Heavier further north, for sure, but just some lingering showers down here across south Michigan. So backing that up here, I do think that enhanced risk is well placed with the latest model guidance. The line kind of impacts that orange zone a little bit better. But still, we could get some severe weather as far north there with these cells that pop up during the late morning, early afternoon hours. Not out of the question at all. But the main risk definitely, as of right now, seems to be centered roughly south of I-69, which is well placed by the SPC with that enhanced risk in place. Hazards, according to the model here, we have a lot of wind shear, a lot of lift, a lot of instability, coupled all together, all hazards possible, wind, hail, tornadoes in that order 
with upgrades and shifting still possible per the SPC. Now, rewinding back to today, Tuesday, June 17th, the majority of Lower Michigan, as well as the eastern part of the UP, finds itself in a general thunderstorm risk with a severe risk back across Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa. Now, that risk is not in Michigan today. Would not be shocked, though, to see a strong storm. Now, based on latest model guidance, the majority of today will be dry in nature, we get towards sunset though, the models do try to pop up some general thunderstorms there across Kalamazoo County as well as uh, St. Joseph and Cass County there. Wouldn't be shocked if that produces some small hail, maybe some brief gusty winds as that uh, particular area, and, and I'm not caught a line, but those pop-up cells kind of drift eastward there. I think the main risk today is going to be small hail as well as frequent downpours, not frequent, frequent lightning and heavy downpours as well. Severe chances are quite low, not impossible, but quite low down there today. But overall, the day today is going to be dry, muggy, a little bit hot in nature. And then as we get to the evening hours, expect some pop-ups across South Michigan to be more precise. As we get into the overnight hours, that continues to kind of pop, pop up across the state. It shouldn't be a big deal, but if you get, you know, woken up at midnight by a general thunderstorm, don't be surprised. Now, fast forwarding back into the Thursday time frame, there is another risk on Thursday for severe weather up in the UP, especially but that marginal is knocking on the door across Lake Michigan there. So let's keep an eye on this Thursday time frame. We're not getting into details with Thursday because how Wednesday plays out will directly affect how Thursday plays out. So we're not going to talk about this. Just keep in mind, more thunderstorms are possible on Thursday, some of which could be strong primarily right now for the UP, but that could be extended into lower Michigan by the time we get closer to Thursday. So stay tuned. Today's video is sponsored by a new sponsor today. We have A-Class Construction. They are based in Mason County up in the western part of the state. For any construction needs, get a hold of A-Class Construction and Restoration. Feel free to give them a call. 833-298-7663 is the number to call. Thank you to A-Class for becoming our newest sponsor here at Michigan Storm Chasers and being today's spotlight sponsor here at MSC on YouTube. Stay tuned tonight, 7 p.m. Catch Joel and I for a briefing as long as there's no severe weather. We'll see you guys tonight, 7 o'clock, and probably again tomorrow morning or afternoon for an updated briefing on how the day is looking. So stay tuned. We got you guys covered here at Michigan Storm Chasers.